The biggest thing that I want anyone who comes through the door to, to leave with is a, a love of sport and knowing that they can do more than they thought they could. Regardless if it's in fencing or another sport or just some other area of their life. Hi, my name is Clinton Smith. I'm the head coach and owner of Lincoln Square Fencing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Oh, and kicking out your front foot. I've always said that Lincoln Square Fencing should be one of the premier fencing clubs uh, in the Midwest. One of the ways we can do that is by having more space and more coaches. I started Lincoln Square Fencing in 2008. Um, I had been coaching at a couple of other places and had an opportunity to open my own club. And so I walked in here and asked them if they had some space for me, and, and they have. Uh, two fights touch bouts, first one, two actions of my choosing, second one winning the bout with either offensive yeah. Each coach has their own philosophy on how they're going to treat their athletes, how they're going to train their athletes, how they're going to push the athletes. Every uh, major country that has developed an approach to coaching has their own way of scoring points and way of moving. So <laughs> which, which philosophy do you have is more the question, not do you have one. I was trained by a, a Ukrainian fencer who was on their national team. And then uh, I went to Hungary and became immersed in the Hungarian school. And when I came back from that experience, that's what I've been coaching. My approach to coaching is very Hungarian in that the exercises are broken down and then built up into the complex actions. And then you have your own personal approach as to how you want to talk to people and how you want to approach the, the athletes and push them. The question of how, how far can my students go depends very much on them. I have a student, CJ, he's been with me for 10 years and he'll be attending Lawrence University in the fall. The coach there is absolutely amazing and will we'll take him farther than I could uh, given my limited schedule. But we're, we're always looking how far can we go and that's very much up to the student. I let a lot of the students push how much they want to train and how often. They tell me, oh, I want to I want to go to nationals at this level, and then I tell them, well, this is what you have to do, and, and then they decide from there if they can. And I'm not going to make someone study weeks and weeks and weeks of something that they're not going to do because uh, those kids are going to go play basketball over at the park, right? I mean, they're, they're not going to stick around for something they don't enjoy. So, it's one of the reasons why we just put a saber in their hand and say, go have fun. Go hit people in the face. <laughs> <laughs>